What's up, Scrolls Resistant Herb here, and welcome to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be doing another one of the hard trial playthrough, walkthrough, tutorial, whatever you want to call them. Um, look, I'm, we're doing the ladder. Hope I can keep that. And in Judgment, I've been doing really, really well. So, since waypoints, I've done two Judgment runs. This is the second one. First one, I got five wins, zero losses. Second one is going to be five wins, zero losses because this deck is amazing. It has multiple Thunder Surges, multiple Vaunt Dispersals, three Gravelock Freaks. We know how OP Gravelock Freaks are. Uh, Tavi Rathia, Iron Golem, I mean Iron Giant, what's it called? Iron Golem, yeah, Iron Golem. Um, Iron Ogre, Iron Ogre, that's what it's called. And other Grave Locks, it's just an amazing deck. But we're not doing that, we're going to do a trial today. Unfair Udo, last time we did Fair Fright Hot and it was really easy, it was just like a hard, um, mirror match versus the hard AI and it gave you a growth deck versus his growth deck. It was very easy, I'm surprised it was in hard trials, but I've heard very different things about Unfair Udo. Um, see, this is fair, fair for a but unfair Udo, I heard, is very hard because the deck you are given, so again, it's a uh, pretty structured deck you're given, so there's no point in me showing you a deck, but the deck I have is like a beast growth deck, but it's really bad, it's really low cost, and then he has like a grave lock deck that just like destroys you, um, and uh, you have to just win to win. Um, three idols, and it says, You overhear a gang of Roy Vox chatting as they rub their bellies. There's nothing tastier than a roasted nog nuzzle. Bunnies don't even come close. Oh, I can smell one right now just thinking about it. The furry outside, chewy inside, crunchy eyes. Tonight, these carnivores go hungry. It's kind of awkward here, like, uh. Like. There's nothing to. Like, that's, a. Uh, like the the word in here is awkward because there's a quotation mark quotation mark that closes that speech and then another gray lock says this but then there's no beginning quotation over here so you don't know uh you don't think any a gray lock is saying it the furry outside chewy inside crunchy eyes but then there's a quotation after the crunchy eyes so that should be fixed um but not doesn't really matter <laughs> all right so here we go and he goes first that's bad because this is a hard trial but I shouldn't have wished wish luck because I'm gonna need luck. And so yeah, see this is pretty this is an okay starting hand. I'm going to keep the slow inform because he does have uh locking broods, so you use those to kill the locking broods. And I'll play the uh beast rat. Junkyard is also pretty good to have. Grave lock guard. Okay. Um I'll go ahead and sacrifice the nutrition. And play a vengeful vetter. Now let's see. He moves up. That's a good sign. And a spark. Okay, let's get rid of nothing and we'll just play junkyard and an owl. And now we have to, now we'll hope that him hitting the idol is this guy's pillage effect uh, deals one damage to one of my units and will hopefully it doesn't do it to the owl. But I mean, there's a solid chance it does, and it did. So that's annoying, but oh well. Um, we're just going to play another Junkyard. I'm just going to try to get a very strong... Strong Rats here. And he has Thunder Surges too, so I have to watch out for that. Okay, so he moves down. Let's see if I can draw, like, uh, Earthen Mirth. I have to have enough attack to destroy these guys. Clownstone Orchard... I'm going to keep Southern Form. I'm going to sacrifice. Earthen Mirth was a nice top deck. So I'll play that. And unfortunately, I'm going to uh, have to keep this Snargle alive because I'm going to destroy the thing that's actually attacking. Okay, so now we have a 5 4 rat. Uhu Long Nose. Okay. Udo plays his Uhu. Bunny, Clannis, and Orchard. Uh, how am I going to do this? I could play Clannis and Orchard and play a creature, and then this guy would attack and destroy the Uhu, but I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. And I'm going to uh, sacrifice the Bunny. Okay, so let's go ahead and play Clannis and Orchard so I can at least kill the Uhu this turn. And then I'll go with the Nog. So you attack, and then I go with the beast rat to protect this. All right. So that this guy's attacking next turn, and now this guy's attacking. So thunder surge would hurt here, 
but it wouldn't be the end of the world. But he does not throw he goes Elder. Uh, at least the Elder comes with no other grave locks on the board. And we're going to sacrifice the Fajords of Vigor. Um, I don't think we're going to need it right now. And play... I'm just going to stay grouped up for Thunder Surge here. I'm going to deal damage to the Elder. I wish I had uh, another Earth and Mirth, but I do not. And just play another Nog. And a Vetter up top, because why not? Oh, actually, this guy attacks. When I played the Vetter, this guy... When I played the Nog or the Vetter, I'm not sure which one, this guy attacked. Uh, so... That's good. I, I guess that's good for me I can kill that, but... Now I wish that this Nog was in back so I could hurt that. Actually, now I wish that I didn't move him there because I'm just wasting two damage. Oh well, I'm wasting, I'm wasting a couple damage. It's not too bad. It's more important that I take out the big the big units now and then later go for the idols. Spark on what? That better. That's not a huge deal. Earth and Mirth are going to keep. Uh, I'm going to go for the... Let's see, Rat King... I'll go for the Earthen Mirth. I'm keep. I'm gonna move you up because I want to lure his units up. I don't want to have his units down here. I will go ahead and play Rat King because I want to at least be able to destroy this Outcast. So let's play the Rat King. And hopefully this thing attacks. Come on. Yes, it attacks. Yeah, class and archer. Remember, you play a unit. Something else is going to get counted down. And uh, how do I want to do this? I want to protect my guys, but at the same time, I want to stay out of thunder surge. Okay, so he can very easily have this uh, Snarglow attack this turn just by playing a unit. But it looks like I'll just lose a rat. And he actually doesn't even attack me. He just attacks an idol up here. So that's pretty awesome. And I can... Destroy this with a Earth and Mirth. So I'm going to do that. I just, I just want to take down his units. Right now. And then save. And then do other stuff later. And now, we don't have any more turns of the Clannicide Orchard, and he has this turn. So he'll, he moves before he puts down units. That's not very smart, hard AI. He should really be playing units and then moving. So then, see, he has both of these things attacking. If he didn't move this guy up, he would have been able to destroy the six, six attack Nog. But, uh, you know, he did not do that correctly. But I will uh, go ahead and... Just get rid of this Lockling Brood with a Slytherin form right now. Fajora's a Vigor, I don't think I'll need. Honestly. Let's get rid of that. Doesn't seem that good. Let's go for the uh, Slytherin form. Actually, first, let's go Eye of Eagle. Nog, and then we'll go Slytherin form to kill you. Uh, I will play a. Another Nog in front there. And that will be my turn. Alright, so I don't, I don't worry, I'm not worried about having myself die this turn really because there's no Clan of Sun Orchard out. And I hopefully I get a Lon Vital or something to destroy that. So there goes a Vetter. Rat King. I'm gonna want to keep. Uh, this is interesting. I think I'm actually gonna hold off on the racking because putting racking down would really just be like me clumping up, and then I'm vulnerable to a thunder surge. Which I haven't even seen from him yet, so I'm just gonna sacrifice one shot. I want to keep the racking though because these two junkyards makes four health rats, and I'm just going to I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm gonna separate for thunder surge and move down. I'm gonna let him have top idle, but. This is exactly where I want him. 
He, I'm, I'm a lot of have a strong creature as long as they're not threatening mine and they're up top. But he does move down now. And uh, next turn, hopefully I can destroy this middle idol. So then I can focus my efforts down there. And now... He takes that out with a El like Gravelock Elder put him down too. Okay. So we have to make sure we can act we have to protect this because he does have machinators and stuff like that. Uh I wanna take out this middle idol here. There's no point in playing Rat King right now if I don't have class on Orchard up. I wanna save that for then. Um So let's just go ahead and sacrifice the scrolls. Alon Vital. I'm gonna play Alon Vital on something. I'm not sure what I wanna do it on. I guess the Nog this is hacking next turn. So it can't get burned because I think he has burn. So this gives magic armor one, so that will be a survivor. I'll attack the idols there. Move you down. Play a mangy rat right there. So now I'm really vulnerable to a thunder surge. But you know what? That's okay. Because <laughs> if he does, he can't even like really do much. If I can draw a Clannis on Orchard, that'd be really good for me. I could have used that uh, Lamatal to destroy this Lockling Brew, but I don't think that's a huge deal. And here we go. Let's see. If I can draw a Clannisine Orchard, that would be really awesome. Get rid of the Pajords. Even if I draw a Clannisine Orchard, I wouldn't be able to win this turn anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just play Rat King. I think I have, or I think I'm gonna play Lombatol actually, and not play Racking. Yeah, I'm just gonna sacrifice scrolls. Uh, Earthen Mirth is a good draw, but I'll play Lombatol to get rid of this at least. Destroy this idol, so we can't protect that. And play. I have to protect all of these guys down here. I could destroy this guy. I think I'm actually gonna do that. I don't really wanna do that, but I think I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm gonna destroy him. Instead of instead of taking out that idol, I think it's that'd be more wise. Play a beast rat, and a mangy rat. So, a thunder surge would hurt here. But it's okay, because I wouldn't actually lose anything. Elder down there so now he sees he has to start protecting his stuff and he does not move down to attack those guys all right so now it's gonna be uh almost gg i'm gonna go ahead and just play an earth and mirth now uh on this nog so i can take down this elder and then deal two damage to the idol and i will go ahead and take out this idol and keep everyone else like that now i don't have anybody attacking this bottom uh row now so i'll need to get a kind of clandestine orchard to win next turn all right so he's protecting down there and a snargle down there too all right but he's not coming down to attack me Let's see, let's keep the Rat King. Clannis on Orchard. We can't play that with the Rat King this turn, so. You know. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this Graveblock Guard by attacking it and then putting the putting that on it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll destroy this too. So I'll just, yeah, I'll destroy these two gray blocks. No, actually, no, I can't destroy both the gray blocks. I'll just destroy the front one. And then I'll play a junkyard right here. And now, how do I want to do this? Uh, 
Uh, I move this guy up. For him like that. And then end my turn. Alright. So next turn I can go Rat King, Clan Ascent, Orchard. But I don't think I'm going to do it. Alright, that hurts. He was like my strong guy attacking next turn. So now I'm kind of going for this idol because I can't exactly, I can't really uh, get through st the stuff that's coming on down here. Um, luckily I haven't seen many freaks from him. Those gray block freaks are really annoying. Let's sacrifice the owl for. Wait, let's just go with the Clanison Orchard racking now. Um, how do we want to do this? I guess I can use those guys to kill him, but I want to solely kill this elder, so I'll do like that. And then, uh, I want to protect you. And then just play Wrecking. And now we hope that this guy attacks, and this guy attacks. And that does not all happen, but it's okay. And a Thunder Surge would not be that dead. You need, like, a double Thunder Surge to really do stuff, because these, these, uh, Junkyards are really doing work for me. Um, Thunder Surge, okay, he goes for the Thunder Surge, and he's able to take down stuff. Well, let's see, if I can... Major Rat, this turn I have a chance of winning the game, because then this guy could attack, and then I can move up and destroy both idols. But, I want two creatures for a higher chance, and I'm not able to do it, unfortunately, but I do have a chance of winning the game here. Here we go. Can I get a win? Yes! GG! Udo, you are done. Woohoo! Nice. Alright. That I think that was one of the hardest uh, trials. Uh, people have been complaining about it a lot. There we go. Uh, give it a 4. It might have been a little too luck dependent. Actually, no. I think it was fun. There we go. 700 gold. Uh, prize, whatever. But there we go. We beat it. Um, hopefully you guys are able to replicate my success. And um, we'll do more of the hard trials and other stuff in future videos. So keep coming back. I'm trying to do daily videos right now for waypoints. So keep coming back every day. And that'll be it for me. So like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And uh, submit your top plays to me at nerfthenjagmail.com. There probably won't be one this uh, Friday because I don't have enough plays. But oh well. Probably the next week. So thank you all for watching. See you tomorrow.